course. Well, you know, Jim, it's a rarity whenever a player can come up out of A ball to the major league level and actually survive. But the Orioles had a player who did that. Brian Mattis last year started in Frederick in A ball, worked his way to the big leagues. The only way it could happen is for him and one guy to have tremendous command of all of his pitches. We had a chance to talk in Dempsey's dugout about just how he did that. Not that long ago, I came into the studio. I was still in Frederick. You told me, he said, you're not too far away. <laughs> so, well, I got a double A and triple A ahead of me. It's going to be a little bit, but uh, ended up uh, coming pretty fast. Well, a couple of cards fell the right way, and you got your opportunity to get up here. Now, you know, something that I noticed about you uh, over the film was, you know, how adept you were at your off-speed pitches. I know you got your fastball, and I know you have your command with them, but really to get control of your curveball, even in the minor leagues, even the A ball like you did, I mean, how do you get such a good feel for it so quick? Well, it was actually tough at first because the balls in college, the seams were a lot bigger, so it was a lot easier to get on top of a curveball or a slider. So with these big league balls, the, not as much seam. So uh, you gotta really, gotta really get on top of it. And for me, it's just finding a nice grip and and um, try not to baby it in there. Throw it hard, throw it hard, and um, which gives it a little bit more uh, more break to it. You and Weeders have worked together for a long time. Is it is it a pretty good marriage here right now still? <laughs> yeah, Weeders and I we get along really well. It, um, this year feels a little bit different. We've actually become pretty good friends now and um, talk all the time. We'll we'll sit down and talk about the outings and and um, you know I don't I don't shake Weeders off that much. He, oh, that's does. Good. he yeah. does. Uh, he does a very good you job. Have a good pregame book. Huh? Yeah, absolutely. He does his research um, and uh, knows these hitters pretty well now, and and uh, we we got a good relationship. It's it's fun throwing the weeders. One big difference last year, people were getting good jumps off you. They're not doing that anymore, and that is a very hard thing as far as your rhythm. You know, is when you lift that leg up, you just don't know anymore whether you're going home with it or going to first base you've got a couple guys already yeah that was a big thing for me in my first start against tampa bay uh, i picked off uh, a couple guys it was crawford and longoria got those two guys and that was big for me and uh, what's the difference is it a little bit of a hang right there well, for me, I just, i've worked what? on being quicker to home plate as well as varying my looks and uh and catching guys off guard and and uh, i talk about weeders being a really smart catcher he called both of those pickoff plays. So, uh, so Weeders has a, he's got a pretty good handle of the game right now. I don't know about this thing of wearing your catcher. Nobody ever wore my t-shirt or with my number on it. Palmer Flanagan never would do that. Why do you got Weeders shirt on? Well, you gotta support your catcher. I mean, he's, <laughs> he's the guy throwing down the, the signals, calling the pitches. So uh, I mean, no, Weeders that's is a, great. That's a little too close for me. You know, right there, wearing the guy. But hey, your cheek shirt day is coming up next. Yeah, is he going to wear up. your shirt? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, when they have the t-shirt giveaway days, they always give us um, a shirt. So uh, I figured I'll support Weeders and, and wear it today for uh, for I Dempsey's can, dugout. I can just see Palmer now running around with number 24 on his shirt. That would be great. Yeah, right. A Hall of Famer wearing <laughs> my shirt. That'd be pretty cool. I love Jim. <laughs>